Well, uh, not much to say as, as an extra football game, obviously, especially if you didn't care who, who won, but uh, we care who won. And uh, I think we had our opportunities. And uh, again, our kids played extremely hard. And the thing we talked about going into the game, that we've really self-destructed the last uh, couple of games, hey, let's uh, help try to eliminate the turnovers. And let's, uh, let's uh, that makes some of the foolish penalties. I think we did both those things. And again, uh, we had one costly turnover. Obviously, we're down in red zone. And they made a nice play. They're a good football team. We knew that. We knew that coming in. They're very physical up front. And uh, you can see that as the game wore on. They hadn't been able to, uh, I think they ran about 80 plays. We ran 50. So they're a good team. I give them credit. Uh, they've, uh, they've lost uh, two games to uh, in overtimes to uh, Power 5 uh, teams. So again, I'm just proud of the effort we gave. Uh, we got to get better, and we got to win. We just got to get a win. You know, they, and again, you talk about, well, we're going to turn into the conference next week or 0-0. Zero, zero. Well, that's true. But that doesn't do anything for us unless we, unless we take care of our act. And that's what we've got to do. And I think we, we really worked hard to do that this past week. We've got to continue to move that direction. Go to Joe right here in the center. Coach, I know you guys all year have been trying to get the running game going. Tonight you got the running game going. How pleased are you with what happened there tonight? Well, very pleased. I tell you, we're much better in the offensive line. I guess that kind of shows. I think that's key. They're a really good defensive front. They are, and, and I also I think uh, you know, Jarvion Williams is really a good, good running back. I think uh, people at Justin High School know that here in the city, and uh, we know it also. Yes, sir. Right here. Uh, Brett, what, Brett Winnigan had some uh, really good returns. What did you see out of him? That's really like. Well, I, he's a good football player. He had to return one for a touchdown, which would have won the Arizona, Arizona game for us, but got called back because of a penalty. But now, he's a good football player. We have a lot of really young football players out there tonight doing, doing a good job, and that's I uh, think that is kind of kind of encouraging. And uh, that's uh, and Brett is he's definitely one of those. The thing was, it was big, we had to me a big mismatch. Uh, their kickoff returns and our kickoff returns. We're starting on the 2025. They're starting on 3540. Uh, too many too much yards on returns. Um, your coach, uh, there was about five and a half minutes left in the game. You know, it's like y'all's first time out there on the uh, fourth down. It looked like maybe Portillo was going to come out and uh, try to take a field goal to give us the lead. Can you uh, take us through that just a little bit and explain what happened? Yeah, I can because uh, if we'd had the five more yards, probably so. We were out of range. Mm -hmm. I was just fourth and long, and uh, we weren't uh, – I felt like – which, which happened, actually, we actually pinned them deep in, in their territory, but we couldn't stop them. And again, those are things that you have to do to have a chance to win a game like that. But no, I, I was hoping to get in a position to, to and I told Daniel, I said, I said Daniel, you're going to win this game for us on a field goal. And I thought, and I thought we had that opportunity, but not, not at that, that distance. That was out of range. Back in. Coach, you talked about the running game and how important it is. Another quick question, Coach. I wanted to ask about Donald, or excuse me, Dalton Sturm. He came in, gave some really tough uh, rushing yards for you guys, but he wasn't uh, throwing so much. Was the game plan to get his run game going? Yes, uh, Dalton is a good football player. He can he can throw the football. But trust me, he can. He's very accurate and very good feet. Uh, he doesn't have any the experience, but I think uh, we'll bring him, go ahead and bring him along. And, and I think Blake uh, played awfully well today. And uh, Dalton came in and, and contributed to us. And and it, we'll we'll give him some more of the package. Coach, back to that fourth down. Thank you. I know you said the field goal was out of range. Did you call a timeout because you were considering going for it at that point? Well, yeah, I called, yeah, we did to make a decision. Yes, we need to make a decision, and, and uh, you know, you're in that, that almost no man's land. And, and uh, what uh, what can we do to give us an opportunity? It's for that long, the the, the fake would not have been would not have been good. But you know, again, it's a situation where uh, uh, we did the right thing. We punted the ball, punted them deep in their territory, and they, they did a good job in four minute offense getting down the hole. We've got time for one more. Coach, can you talk about uh, Bogenschutz's interception there in the red zone? What, what did you see on that play and um, just how it affected the game? Well, it cost us a game probably. I mean, that's, that's how it affected us because we hadn't had a field goal there and also, you know, a touchdown. But you know, I'll say that he didn't cost us the game. He gave us a chance in the game to win. But I think the thing that you see is uh, he made a really good interception. I think he threw the ball a little bit behind the receiver. And if it outside, I think he'd been fine.